Hey everybody, I am back with some more essay to review questions. These are actually, actually since testing time is upon us, uh, great for pretty much any of the types of testing that you're probably doing in any of your classrooms for eighth grade, if you are in eighth grade. But otherwise, this is great for SAT review or ACT review. So we are going to be looking at some distribution and solving for x. So I am going to distribute that negative 2 here on both sides. We're also going to do that over here on both of these items as well. And so negative 2 times 3x is going to be negative 6x. Again, we're trying to solve for x here. Then we're going to do just basic distribution first, clean it all up, and then make it look pretty. All right, so the next part we're going to do is we're going to take that distribution of the negative 2, um, and we're going to multiply that times that negative 2.4. And again, that is a negative, so don't uh, forget that that is that. And we're going to get a positive 4.8 here. Over here, we're going to do the same thing. Negative 3 times the 3x is going to be negative 9x. And you notice that that is also a negative 2.4 again. So we're just going to times that by 3 this time. Again, it's a negative times a negative. So we're going to get 7.2 here on this one. A little bit cleaned up. But now we're going to continue on. What I'm going to do is I like to make my variables positive when I move them. So whenever possible. I'm going to add the 9x this time and cancel that out. That's going to be leaving me with 7.2 over here. And then over here, simplifying this out. These combined give me 3x, and then we have that 4.8 over here. Now, because we moved the x's over to the left-hand side, we're going to move the constants over to the right-hand side this time. And we're going to continue to clean up our mess here. This is going to cancel everything out together. We're going to be left with the 7.2 minus the 4.8, and when we do that, we're left with 2.4, which should make sense. And then our last step, we want to always do the inverse operation. So this is multiplication. So we're going to divide both sides by the 3. That's going to cancel, leaving me with just 1x. And then 2.4 divided by 3 is going to give me 0 0.8. And always go back and check your work, of course. But this is what your finalized answer would be. Would be x is equal to 0 0.8. And if you want more questions like these, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Algebra. Don't forget to like, share, and follow for more. And these are all located in the SAT, AT, ACT playlist for more.